Yo, what's up guys, Ward here, and welcome to a brand new video comparing PCs to consoles. Now, as you guys know, there are a variety of things for PCs, and you know, you can upgrade your PCs, you can get more stuff for them, you know, you can, you know, it's, it's a lot more money, it's, let's say, but with consoles, you know, you're more of that chilled out guy sitting with their friends on the couch, maybe having a cup of tea, you know, playing with their controllers. Now, obviously, PC is a lot more professional, and it is a lot more advanced in the gaming community, so I just want to talk about a few things. If if you're a PC gamer, then you're willing to spend a lot of money. I'm telling you that now. If you're like me on a console, then you you know you don't spend that much money on gaming wise. Um, a console is more chilled out and it's not as um, you know competitive. However, you know you've got Call of Duty, which is quite competitive on console. Uh, but the good thing is about console, um, say you're in a Call of Duty gunfight, it will be a lot fairer within your gunfight because the chances are uh, you're more as likely as the opponent to actually kill each other so you know you've got the same amount of lag it runs at 30 frames per second however next gen is 60 so you know it's all fair but PCs you know if you've got a better PC then you've got a massive advantage within your killing let's say on Call of Duty now there are a lot more games on PC so beware of that if you're willing to spend a lot of money on a PC to game on then you know you're fine if you're not willing to spend as much money then definitely get a console it is a lot easier to communicate on console with friends and it's a lot more chilled out as i just said now if you guys really 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 um want some massive thing under your desk with loads of wires and it is a lot more complex within games and how to play them although you can get an xbox or you know ps3 or ps controller plugging into your computer by usb and that is pretty good because you know you can obviously control it all mouse and keyboard which is an advantage to pc gamers if you've got a good mouse or keyboard for gaming then you're you've got a more advantage online so that's pretty cool if you're on Xbox, you know, you've got the standard controller, although you can get scuff controllers for Call of Duty, and they do help out a ton, so I'd recommend you get one of them if you want to, you know, be the best player in the lobby, should I say. Uh, PC, though, you know, you've got this Razer mouse, you've got the Razer keyboard, and they can help you absolutely loads, so I'd recommend getting them if you're a PC gamer, and, you know, you want that high advantage within your kills and Call of Duty or whatever you play. So, yeah. Um, PC does have a lot more games and there are more of a variety and a lot of YouTubers actually play PC rather than just uh, console I say more people actually play PC on YouTube you've got Minecraft and Minecraft guys it is not better on console I'm just saying that now and obviously you know you can upgrade your PC the graphics if you buy a good graphics card then your graphics are obviously going to be better on the PC than they are on console they're going to smash the console's graphics in the face basically so yeah the console you know you can't upgrade it you have to wait a few years for the next gen to come out and that's the pretty pain obviously I'm waiting to get the Xbox One and it can be expensive the Xbox One for what it is capable of it is not worth the money but however PCs you know new parts new equipment for your PCs come out like every year so you can just upgrade to them and you know you can get what you want there's a lot more variety of things to build for your PC and it is a lot harder and complex towards you know a PC um, however you got you got you know you got to build all that stuff in it so if you're building your own then it's going to be a lot more difficult however with an xbox you just simply buy the xbox and plug it in you know hd you know hdmi cables you know plug it into your tv plug the power cord into the socket and you're ready to go so it's pretty easy and a lot more portable as well because a pc you can't carry it around you can't put it in your rucksack and go to your friend's house and stay there for the night and play that to be honest and i'm sorry about that but on console you can obviously do that you know consoles are a lot more compatible and although they're not the big they're not the smallest of things they're a lot more compatible compatible with PCs than PCs so to say so that's all I want to talk about today is PC gaming versus console gaming which guys do you think is better obviously if you have got the good enough processor if you've got the good enough graphics card then you're going to melt people in games such as Call of Duty on the PC however on Xbox you know if you're in the lobby with someone you know you're around the same FPS and you're around the same graphics as them so it doesn't really make a difference and the gunfights are a lot more fairer should I say so whatever game you're playing PC you know you've got those advantages with your equipment on Xbox you know or PS3 or PS4 or Xbox One whatever you're playing then you've obviously got the fair abilities between the two of you so yeah it's pretty um even to be honest so yeah i just want to make a point there i'm not biased towards any consoles or gaming devices such as pc or xbox 360 ps4 or xbox one i am honestly not biased towards any of them but yeah as always guys hope you have enjoyed this video if you want more let's swap videos let me know down below in the comments and yeah peace out